Hi guys, my name is Emily St. Alvin. I'm going to be talking to you today about molluscum contagiosum, which is a chronic viral disorder of the skin caused by small groups of smooth, painless, pinkish bumps with a central depression that yield a milky fluid when squeezed. These bumps can show up almost anywhere on the skin. They're most commonly found on the chest, stomach, arms, legs, groin, genital areas, and face. Though most common in children, molluscum contagiosum can affect adults as well, particularly those with weakened immune systems, such as with HIV, overuse of steroids, or just cancer survivors or anybody like that. In adults with otherwise normal immune systems, molluscum contagiosum involving the genitals is considered a STI, which is a sexually transmitted infection. Molluscum contagiosum, also abbreviated as MCV, is part of the pox virus family. This virus thrives in the warm, humid climates and areas where people live in close quarters. Infection with MCV happens when the virus enters a small break in the skin surface. Many people who come in contact with the virus have immunity against it but, and do not develop growths. But for those not resistant to it, the growth usually appears in two to eight weeks after infection. Kids can get molluscum contagiosum in different ways. It spreads easily and most common through direct skin-to-skin -skin contacts. But kids can get by touching objects that have the virus on them, such as toys, clothing, towels, and bedding. It can also spread through the water. Once someone, once someone has molluscum contagiosum, it can be spread from one part of the body to another by scratching or rubbing the bumps and touching another part of the body. Molluscum contagiosum can also spread through between sexual partners. There are ways to prevent the spread of the virus. They include washing your hands. Keeping your hands clean can help prevent the spreading of any viruses. Avoid touching the bumps. Shaving over infected areas can also help spread the virus. Don't share personal items. This includes clothing, towels, hairbrushes, and other personal items as well. Refrain from borrowing these items for others, too. Avoid sexual contact. If you have molluscum contagiosum on or near your genitals, don't have sex until the bumps are treated and have completely disappeared. Another way you can uh, help prevent the spread of it is just to cover up the bumps. Use a watertight bandage to cover them um, if there's any possibility you're going to come in contact with anybody with, uh, with infected skin. Keep your skin healthy. Uncover it whenever you don't come into contact with other people. In many cases, molluscum contagiosum is left to go away on its own without treatment. Each individual molluscum can typically disappear within two to three months. However, new growths generally appear as old ones go away. So it usually takes between 6 to 18 months for it to completely go away. And sometimes it even takes up to 4 years. Sometimes doctors use treatments to remove growths or help them go away quicker, such as removing them. They use it, they either squeeze it to get through the contagious uh, center by squeezing the scalpel or tweezers, uh, they remove the growths by scraping them off with sharp instruments, or they even apply a chemical agent or cream, such as like wart medicine. What are some symptoms of MCV? Each molluscum starts out as a very small spot, about the size of a pinhead, and grows over several weeks into a larger bump that may become as large as a pea or a pencil eraser. A tiny dimple or indentation often forms at the top of each molluscum. The tiny mollusca can appear alone or in single bumps or groups, clusters or rows. They can show up almost anywhere on the skin. Set in sexually active teens and adults, the bumps are usually located on the genital area or on the inner thighs. Rarely, the bumps can happen around the eyes or the mouth. Most people develop between 1 and 20 mollusca. They are usually painless, but can become itchy, red, swollen, and sore, and even infected, especially if they are scratched.
MCD generally causes no long-term problems, and their growth usually leave no marks. Certain treatments do, however, scar the skin. When some people develop a secondary infection, it can often be treated with antibiotics. People with weakened immune systems can sometimes get a more serious form of MCV. They typically have more mollusca, especially on the face. The growths are larger, they look different, and they're usually more difficult to treat. In these cases, doctors may prescribe a medicine that will help strengthen the immune system. And MCV is a very common virus. It's found in the U.S. about 1% of all skin disorders. In Louisiana, it's even more common. It's about 5.1%. And I couldn't necessarily find any percentages about locally, but in my experience, I have three nieces and one nephew who have all contracted this virus, and they've all gotten it from each other, from the school systems. And it's really hard to contain this certain virus, especially if people don't understand about what they are and how to treat them. Well, that's all I have for you guys. I hope this has been informative and you'll have all learned something, and hopefully we can all be better educated on how to prevent the spread